close my door because that family guy and turn the family guy down. We don't need to hear Peter Griffin of my video. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a different video. I've been trying out some different videos for you guys and I hope you enjoy that because I know that on YouTube it's like same old, same old, same old, same old, same old, same old, same old. I'm saying same old. I want to test out new videos in hopes that you guys like them and fresh content. Some may fail, some may fly, but I want to try it out either way. And this video today is going to be testing out Pinterest dupes specifically. This is Changin and it needs to stop Changin. Specifically foundations. I noticed Pinterest mo makes a lot of like big claims on foundation dupes and I'm kind of like eh. So we're gonna be testing out five different dupes meaning ten different foundations I'm gonna move a little bit quick in this video like tell my thoughts upon them and we'll move on to the next Are they dupes? Are they not dupes? Are they kind of sort of dupes? Eh. Also, I want to let you guys know if you see these little bubbles on my teeth like I said before in my past videos I am doing Invisalign and these are called hooks on your teeth because so they help pull your teeth I have some on the bottom but you can't see them as much um, and I just want to address that and explain what they were because I do like sharing what I go through in my story with you guys to get a little bit personal and I also wanted to share because I know you guys are gonna see them in the comment section is gonna be like what the hell is going on in her girl's mouth this is just to pull these teeth on back also be sure and subscribe to my channel before you leave we've got lots of new fresh content coming up and you do not want to miss out so just subscribe today join the Laura Lee family mm. and let's jump right in and get started to start off with I need to remove my makeup these are eye makeup remover cloths but you know we're gonna improvise dad gum and I just wiped off my wing <sighs> look at this pooty little guy <laughs> look what's left I will be using different foundation brushes for each foundation. <laughs> in a past dupes video, I mixed the brushes, like the foundations on a brush, and Lord have mercy, the YouTube family was not happy about that. <laughs> so for our first dupe, we have the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation Plus Concealer, and then we have the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation Plus Concealer. So they kind of have the same theme going on. I'm going to try one on one half and the other on the other half. Let's see what happens. First, I'm trying the Milani Foundation on this side of my face. I heard a lot of mixed reviews with the Milani foundation about it oxidizing really bad and I didn't have that issue whatsoever with it. It worked out great for me. I really enjoyed this foundation and I found that it was very, very full coverage because it's like foundation and concealer, get it? Look how nice my skin looks over here. I mean, you know, there's like some craziness going on. And this is just one small coat of the Milani foundation. So I really enjoy this. I pumped out way too much. Dad gum it. I've never tried this one before, so let's find out the details. Let me disclaim this. The colors of the foundation will not be the same because I buy foundation year round and I can go three to four shades darker in the winter time. What? Not in the winter time. Lord have mercy, what am I doing in the winter? All right, so now I'm gonna take the gold handled tart brush. Whoop. Okay, here is my skin and believe it or not, I feel like the Milani one was a little bit thicker than the Clinique one, like a little bit more full coverage than the Clinique one. The theme of the makeup, the texture of like the actual product feels the exact same, so I get the dupe out of that. Um, the Milani just has a little bit more coverage than the Clinique, but they are both nice covered. I mean, I'm covered and covered well. Um, you can see the Clinique's a little bit more wet. I feel like the Milani has a little bit more coverage and the Clinique is a smidge bit shinier than the Milani. Mm. But overall, I, I mean, they could totally be dupes. I mean, the price cut is unreal, so I would opt for the Milani. All right, our next test is the True Match Lumi by L'Oreal. This is a really popular foundation from L'Oreal, and they say the dupe for it is the Armani, or they say the dupe for, oh Lord, I'm just messing this all up. They say the dupe for Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi. So I get it, they're both like luminous Lumi foundations. I have a really hard time believing that this foundation is like nine bucks and this one's 65. I would just have a hard time believing they're dupes. I've tried both of them in the past, so I'm very familiar with the foundation, so I'll be able to give you a good rundown on this one. First, we'll try out the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. I have to remember to pour less because I'm only doing half my face, so I just get crazy. 
So we have our Giorgio Armani side done. If you can see, like, it's not that thick of coverage, but it does look really nice on the skin. So here I go with my True Match Lumi. Now I can go ahead and tell you the shades are gonna be pretty much off. Applying this L'Oreal to my face, the application and the like liquidiness of the product, it feels very similar. I feel like they have like the same amount of dewiness to them, luminous to them, so I get that in the dupe part of it. Um, this one's been on my face a little bit longer, so it's had more time to settle down. <laughs> I feel like the coverage of the foundations are very similar. Possibly the L'Oreal being a little bit more coverage, because I'm not seeing as many of my freckles through as I am on this side. So I'm thinking um, the L'Oreal True Match, I kind of like better. Hello! Hi! You know what, I'm gonna say these are dupes because the skin looks glowy on both sides. I mean, I think I could build up to the Lumi coverage very easy with the Giorgio Armani. So at the end of the day, I think they're definitely dupes. I give this a yes, and I was so skeptical on this one. I honestly got this today and I was like, oh hell no, nah, but we gonna get it anyway. My skin looks pretty good. I'm gonna have to start wearing this, y'all. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and be straight up with you. If you have oily skin, I don't recommend either of those foundations to you. They are luminous, they make you glow, give you that healthy looking skin, but you have that natural glow that comes from within if you have oily skin. Trust me, my forehead is a grease pit. It glows night, day, morning, afternoon, lunchtime, breakfast time. If I could sell the old my forehead produces, I'd be a rich woman. What is this piece of hell doing? back there. Okay, I apologize. I forgot to get close-up shots of my Giorgio Armani Lumi and the other one. Sorry. For our next dupe, we have the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion. Essentially the same foundation as the liquid, but it's in a cushion. Pinterest claims that the Miracle Cushion by Lancome is a dupe. I've tried this one before and I like it. It so it's the same as the liquid, but it's in a cushion, you know what I'm saying? And then this one, I've never tried before. I actually just picked it up at Sephora today, so we're gonna find out. First, I will apply the Lumi True Match Cushion. You get so much product in these cushions. Do not let them fool you. <gasps> Where is this black coming from? Ew. Now we are going to apply the Miracle Cushion from Lancome. Let's see if Pinterest is telling us a big fat lie. It smells different. The Lancome one smells so good and the other one doesn't smell like anything but that doesn't have really much to do with the performance. Oh my lord, I got weight. that we are so orange over here. All right, we're gonna keep going with it. Ugh, this foundation feels the exact same. I swear I know this video is gonna be boring because I'm like, agreeing with everything Pinterest has to say, but it feels the same. It's very dewy feeling. And you know what, they come with the sp same sponge in the package. The Lancome one packaging is a little bit bigger than the L'Oreal one. I feel like the coverage is the same. Um, again, I, I feel like the coverage is medium and you could possibly build it up to full coverage if you set it with a powder and all that jazz. But guys, the product looks so good on both sides besides this side because I'm really orange. <laughs> That's my own fault. I'm going to be exchanging this. My scan. <laughs> Two more to go. Next up, we have the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. I love this stuff. And I also love this stuff. This is the Pro Matte Infallible by L'Oreal, or Infallible Pro Matte. <laughs> and I do like both foundations a lot. These are great if you have oily skin. I would definitely set this one for show. I mean, I would set this one too. I set most of my foundations. They are a completely different texture, but apparently the finish outcome is very similar with these. So with the NARS, you're supposed to only do like a dot for your whole face and I am going to abide by those rules. And I'm just gonna stipple the NARS one on this side of my face. Look at that, look how much color and coverage you get. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead, I mean the finish may be the same, but I really don't wanna call these dupes because I'm gonna tell you something. The texture and application and like the weight of it is completely different. They do the same thing as far as giving you a matte finish. This one's like a cream foundation. That one's a liquid foundation. I think they're a little bit far off to be calling them dupes. I do think you get a matte finish with both. By the way, my L'Oreal Pro Matte's a little bit warm for me these days. I totally get it if you want to call them dupes because the finish, like the matte finish of them is very similar. 
I just think it's like two completely different foundations though, and I'm not gonna call these two a dupe. They're, I'm just, I can't do it. I am 50 shades of orange on this side, a 50 shades of yellow on this side. These foundations are not my color, but I wasn't gonna go buy these brand new, you know, just to swatch them on my face. <laughs> Let me say this, the finish is just very similar to these, but I feel like the NARS one is way lighter on the skin, and this one has more of a heavy texture to it. I'm gonna say no on these being dupes, but yet, <laughs> but yes, they do have the same, um, finish to them. Very matte. Babe, my face hurts. He just walked out. Help me. Alright, for our last Pinterest dupe with the foundations tested, it is the MAC Studio Fix Foundation versus the Matte and Poreless Fit Me by Maybelline. Do, 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 do. I love both of these foundations. Um, I think definitely the product has a similar texture. I can go ahead and tell you that. The actual Fit Me is really a good shade for me. It's number 220. I'm going to apply that all over my face. It says matte and poreless, but does anyone else feel like the Fit Me is not like super matte, like the L'Oreal Pro Matte? This one just has a little bit more of a natural finish. Now I'm gonna take my Morphe E44 brush and apply the MAC Studio Fix. Now I can tell you both foundations are definitely buildable foundations. And I find them to be pretty long wearing. I'm gonna go ahead and say what I've said a thousand times, that foundations are most long wearing when you set them with a powder and I set mine with a powder. So if you're experiencing them not being long wearing, test it out with a powder and see how that treats you. I definitely say the coverage of the foundations is super similar. And you know what, I've been wearing both of these foundations for a long time and I never thought of them as dupes, but I definitely wanna consider them dupes because you know what? They look very similar on my skin. Like the finish of them is very similar and it's because the MAC foundation doesn't dry. It almost dries with a little bit more of a natural finish. I will go ahead and tell you this one can get a little bit greasier on me faster whenever I wear it throughout the day. Whereas this one, um, it kind of hangs with me. It just doesn't have so much grease in those. All right guys, that is, oh, you just slammed the door that is it for this video thank you all so much for watching and being here Hi. this video was interesting and kind of fun I feel like my face is kind of raw right now from all the makeup wipes but we did it <laughs> all right guys be sure and subscribe before you leave and I'll catch you in my next video I'm talking to you bye guys